Hello everybody, this is Imagineery, and I'm here to talk about a certain individual that has been getting hype lately in AEW, and I am talking about the Hook, son of Taz. Um, now, most of you, when you see Hook come out, um, I would say, what does he... Who does he look like? Like, just picture it. Who in the, I don't know, Marvel Universe looks similar to him? I mean, I would say he almost looks like Peter Parker. From the face, even kind of the hair, same color. And I would say, you know, why doesn't AEW just... Uh, rip off Marvel in a way and book him kind of like Spider-Man. If I was in Tony Khan's position, I would go and maybe have him in a similar situation where, you know, he's a heel right now. For most of you who don't know what a heel is, it's like a villain. He's not supposed to be a fan favorite, but he seems very popular. Many would say he's uh, very popular just for being Taz's son, which, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't... You'd think he would be a heel because Taz is a heel, but, I mean, he has been facing QT Marshall and some of his group member faction members and i i just started to think about this why don't you have him go get the title and i don't know what tony khan is thinking right now but if hook ever wanted to go after that title i would say you should book him as a Face, a baby face and have Ricky Starks the holder of that belt um, face each other now it's a uh, how you would go about it I would say is first you have Ricky Stark state you know what Taz I know this FTW belt has meant a lot to you but you know i want to sell this on ebay and uh of course taz is not gonna like that and ricky starts goes hey you know what are you the owner of this belt i mean technically it's not even recognized and if you look it up in aew as i understand as they'll be talking in promos that belt is not a recognized belt. It's almost like honorary. But um, I get it. Your Ricky Starks could just straight out get Taz angry. Tell him, hey, you know what? This belt is mine. There's nothing you can do about it. And even have Powerhouse Hobbs join him in this because uh, if anything, uh, you'd think Hobbs could be interested in that belt too. Come on, he's been there. Other than Brian Cage, he's uh, one of the more stronger powerhouse members of Team Taz. So in that faction, they could team up, do kind of like an overthrow of Team Taz and go, Hey, you know what? I do what I want. You know, your little snot-nosed brat kid. I don't care much for him. He has a bunch of unkempt hair. So you and your son with pillow hair can just leave and leave this to me. Because you guys, you guys wouldn't know what to do with this belt. Thus, infuriating tasks and then... Powerhouse Hobbs and Starks could just jump him 
and I would say go as far as beating him down to where he has to go to the emergency room. Now, the reason I would do this is because in that situation, Taz is kind of like the Uncle Ben. You know, he's the figure that helped Hook how to gain his training and knowledge of wrestling. And so that in sending Tess to the emergency room is almost like Uncle Ben dying. Hospitalize um, the hook or maybe not go as far. Now, the reason I would have Hook injured is because one of the things that makes Hook such a great wrestler is he's uh, really good at doing all those suplexes, the T-bones, the ex um, many, uh, I, I don't know, I would say arm drags or arm throws. He's really skilled, but... I mean, he could have just been contemplating this for a long time and then say, hey, you know, I see most of the moves in your arsenal or suplexes. How can I prevent him from doing anything to retaliating? And that'd be by maybe injuring his right arm. This later on, uh, they could have... Um, a segment where both Taz and Hook are in a hos in the hospital. Um, Hook could be cleared, and they could have it to where oh Taz was in a coma, and he just woke up, and the first words that comes out of his mouth are, "Kid with great skills." comes great ability his version of uh uncle ben's with great power comes great responsibility and then when hook goes on to face stark um they could have a match and w the reason i also would it would be great to have stark and hobbs in this situation is i, I mean in a sense, I kind of see Stark and and Hobbs as kind of like Venom and Carnage. Like Ricky, um, it, you know how both Venom and Carnage, they'd uh, cooperate sometimes. But then sometimes they would have, you know, their differences. And so this is where that comes in. So Ricky... Being the guy, the snot nose heel that he is, uh, could uh, maybe put his back to Hobbs in a way of either, you know, when we sell this originally, you know how I told you that all this money was uh, th that we would profit from selling the FTW belt. It would go to us and we'd split it 50-50. Well, um, you know, you can forget about that. And then have who knows whoever um, jump Hobbs or something like that. To where Starks can go, hey, you know, w you know, Hook probably has a uh, cast on or his arm is bandaged. Because he's going to leave but with a badly sprained arm. And that's going to make this match more exciting. Because if you've seen Hook, other than his uh, great arsenal of suplexes, he does his Red Room, his version of the Taz mission, and it involves an arm. And that's going to be harder to apply it when one arm is badly sprained. So then making this thus more interesting. The match could go um, 
Starks can just keep focusing on Hook's arm, uh, putting him in holds and submissions, just focusing on that arm. Hook, every now and then, could uh, do some uh, comebacks, um, maybe take him off his legs vertically, and then just go into mat skills. Um, from what I understand, Taz, in his, uh, I mean, we've seen Hook do lots of suplexes, and but we, we don't really see his ground game, his mat skills. And I'm pretty sure Taz has trained him in, in a lot of things. Uh, as I understand, Taz has a dojo, and I mean, he could have trained him to do leg takedowns, he could put on some knee bars, something, because, you know, he has to find a way to where he doesn't use his injured arm as much. Or, you know, if he has to, he could always use his uh, uninjured arm and maybe use that to brawl, strike, do whatever. Leg locks. You know, he still needs an arm to do some submissions and holds. What I would do is, probably towards the end of the match, have a spot where Tony, where Ricky, Ricky Starks, he has Hook in a situation where Hook's arm is so injured that the ref actually has to go over and check his arm. Have Hook just there, you know, just groveling on the ground. And even though he they push him and everybody sees him as this kid that's young yet, you know, straight out destroys his competition not in this situation we need some sympathy for the baby face of course there has to be a reason you know he's he's kind of like uh this this is to help the transition for people to give him more sympathy so then he's groveling on the floor and then maybe hobbs makes it outside and the ref he's just looking at um at hook and inspecting him and then i would hobbs doesn't even have to interfere he just needs to maybe come out of the ramp and just be looking at at ricky ricky just could be standing there you know maybe they have uh an argument or something like that but then Ricky goes, you know what, whatever, just ignores him. Because the ref, even though he is looking at Hook's arm, he's, he eventually gets up and looks and goes, hey, you know, what's going on? Maybe he goes up to Hobbs, tells him to leave. Meanwhile, thus giving Hook time to maybe toughen up go you know what I gotta go all out Ricky throws him into the ring Hook can then somehow hook in a uh, hold or a submission hold and then eventually this can lead to the Taz mission and then he could just put on that hold and even though his arm is hurt. He's still giving the submission ho hold. Now, meanwhile, the ref looks, sees what's happening, runs in. Hobbs just stands there, just smiling, laughing, laughing it up. And then the habit to where Hook eventually just, he... Makes it to where he makes 
Ricky pass out. The ref goes, hey, you know what? There, there it is. That's the match. Then Hook could pass out from the pain. I don't know who, but eventually some people, some of the officials uh, could come in, pick up Hook, announce him as the winner, carry him away. I mean, if you guys have a disagreement or if you like this, also want to comment on how much you like this idea, uh, comment below, like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.